This is last message I'm sending to Bob Two Funny concerning this Annabelle issue. You are so ungrateful. I can't believe you. Is it because I stooped so low to come to your house with my brother? You threw me out from your house because I, I, I actually bring myself down to come to beg you. Who are you? Who are you, Bob Two Funny? I was the one that promoted you, Bob Two Funny. Who are you? I gave you this fame. I gave you this popularity. Yeah, they said I broke your head, I broke your car glass, this, that, this, that. It was what promoted you. And you cannot hide it, you can't lie about it. I gave you this fan that you are enjoying today. And you expect me to sit back and, 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 and allow you to enjoy it alone with another girl? It's, it will happen. I swear it will never happen. You don't even know this coming. You threw me out of your house because I came to beg you. Who? I, I didn't want to come to beg you. I never wanted to come to beg you. It was my brother that, that dragged me to your house. Like I can't, for what? Who are you? For me to come to beg you. You should be the one to come to beg me. You are supposed to be the one to beg me. I made you all, I gave you all this thing that you think you have now. I gave you the fan, I gave you the wealth you think you have now. And you want to enjoy it alone? No, you have to pay me. You must pay me, Bob Tufoli. You have to pay me. Wait, let me even, let me tell you, let me tell you. Oh, oh, oh. Everything you owe me, you have to pay me from one to zero. From one to ten, you have to pay me. I want you to stop mentioning it. Is it because oh, people, are, people are not hating you, but people are a peacemaker, a loving can If you think, if you claim you are a peaceful person, you should come to me, Annabelle. But too funny, if you claim that you are a peaceful person, you are a problem solver, come to me, Annabelle. Let's sit and talk this thing. Let's die it. Let's you, you have to settle me. Come to me and settle me. Or you settle people relationship, people marriages, these are. Let's settle our own. Let's settle the difference we have. We have a lot of differences. We need to iron it out, settle it one by one. Because I'm so angry. You took me out of your house for what? You embarrassed me. And you were there. Joe was calling me out of names. You didn't say anything. You fold your hands. You are now looking like a dummy. You have to pay me. I don't even that though. Until you pay me whatsoever you owe me. That is when Annabelle will give you rest. I gave you this from this life you are enjoying now. I promoted you. I gave you this purpose. I gave you purpose in life. I, I gave you every purpose you think you are enjoying now. But too funny, I gave it to you. I got you off, I made you. I made you. Rubbish. Look at this. <laughs> you don't know what is coming. Watch your back and watch your back because what is coming for you. What is and I saw John. <laughs> that one is Gabo, Gabo, open couple. But you want to watch your back or you come, let's sit up. You pay me everything you're owing me. Let me warn you for the last time, Bob Tiffany. Let me just warn you for the very last time. If you want to enjoy peaceful life, if you want to enjoy peaceful relationship with your dear whatsoever she is, Bob Tiffany, let's sit and talk about these things. You know, enough is enough. People are not taking me as an evil dear, as a witch and as an investor. Yes. And they don't know. They do not know what I did for you. I gave you purpose in life. And for that purpose I gave you, you have to pay every penny I dropped doing that. Rubbish. Bob, too funny. I have made video before and tell you how this thing is going to be. But point of correction, Annabelle, you are not the one that made Bob too funny. I understand your point. I understand your point. Because people enjoy rubbish on social media. They enjoy saga. Now, how many followers that you have? 5,100 followers. But you are hitting 20 something, something for something thousand views. Because we are quarreling with John Laughter. And Bob, too funny. People don't like good things on this social media. So I understand that point that you are saying that you are the one that made him. Uh, that because of that, your problem, that is the reason why he went viral. I understand, I literally understand what you are trying to say. But you need to take it easy. Remember, you sign undertaking. You sign undertaking. If anything happened to Bob Too Funny, you are going to end up in the prison. So take note of that one. For you, Bob Too Funny, like I, uh, what I said before, and I'm not going to repeat it again. What I want you to do is this. I don't know if you understand who is Annabelle. Annabelle Babala. I did not tell you this one yesterday. Annabelle Babala. 
I'm not saying that she can do you anything, but prevention is better than cure. I don't want a situation where you will get married to this your wife. So you start that day, start having problem with your wife. Before you realize or understand where the problem is coming from, it might be too late. What is giving Annabelle Murai is marine power. That is what I mean by Abala. I want you to call this girl. Try to know what she wants first. For marriage, that one is aside. You already got your own fiancé. And no two ways about that. Nothing can be done about that. So, Annabelle, issue of too funny, marrying you, you better rest. That one is unrepairable. We can't repair it again. So forget about marriage, marriage, marriage. That one is aside. If you say that you want Bob too funny to, to compensate you, to give you something, that one aside. Bob, the advice I can give to you as a brother is this. As a brother is this. I know many people will tell you, don't do this, don't do that. I will advise you, just call Annabelle. Call Annabelle. Hear from her mouth first. If she mentions what is affordable, just compensate her. Just give her some anything. Just settle her. I like that I say, find her and you go. Just settle her. Let her just go. This is the advice I can give to you. Because she has vowed that she will never give you peace of mind in your marriage. For the fact that you refuse to marry her. And it's not your fault. Because you give her a lot of chances. But she has she continue misbehaving because she already sent from Peter of hell to come and destroy your life. So I want you to call Annabelle, stay one on one with her, discuss about this matter. Hear her out. Whatever penny that you are holding her, she's talking about. Maybe when she's giving you 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira, whatever. Just hear her. I want her to say whatever she wants to say. If she says something that is affordable, just give her something. Settle her, let her go. Many people will not like this, but prevention is better than cure. Because Annabelle has vowed that she will never have peace of mind in that marriage. Then, then even if you are going to marry, even if you are not going to marry her, it will not be this Christabel that she's seeing right now. It will be another person. So she has vowed with her last brother she must scatter this marriage. And the only solution is what I'm telling you. Call her attention. Know what she wants. If it's affordable, settle her. If it's not affordable, then keep here where she belongs. And that is final. My name is Authority Voice, a.k.a. The Professor Beta. To me, when I try to share this video, hit the hand the follow button. Subscribe to our channel at Authority Voice TV. Tell me what you think. What do you think? What do you think that is the solution about this Annabelle? Because we have seen a lot of witchcraft like her. Let me see your own opinion. Drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to share. Try to like this video so that Facebook will recommend it to other people. Thank you guys for watching. One love.